it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. I am going to be featuring some projects that are all inspired by Chinese New Year. So as a lot of you will know, I live in China and we're currently celebrating um, the build up to Chinese New Year. Um, there's lots of lanterns, there's things being made, um, it's just a really nice feel in the air and people are getting ready for, you know, having time off with their family and friends. Um, so I thought I would make some projects to show you because it's all around paper craft but I'm going to be updating them, not updating them, that's the wrong word, I'm going to be changing them so they will fit any time of the year so not just for Chinese New Year. So the colours are changing and I've kind of, you know, just altered little bits and pieces and those are going to be the projects that I'm going to share with you over the coming days. So today to kickstart I'm showing you these um, Ung Pao lanterns. Ung Pao is um, the red envelopes or the red pockets that are given um, at special occasions so weddings, birthdays, Chinese New Year, um, Autumn Festival, there's many 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 festivals. Um, and they basically look like this. They're all different. This one's for happy, happy birthday, for example. These are Chinese New Year ones, um, but I've used them all with these ones here. And these are for my um, husband's um, work colleagues um, to just decorate the office and stuff. So um, this is what it is, but I'm going to be showing you how to use them as six by six papers um, in non-traditional Chinese New Year colors and stuff. But I just wanted to show you these all using different size and um, different amounts of the um, red pockets. So this one here, for example, really lovely. Um, got the little um, tassel hanging here as well. This is with four. So you've got one, two, three, and four. So that gives you that style, okay? Then I've got this one here, which is with five, which is my favorite style. I really like this one. And I've done that with the white. I've done another one with the five. So that's the same there with the black. And then I've done this one here, which is with six. So it's a lot more flatter, a um, bit more like, you know, yeah, just a wider looking one. More spaceship-like, I think, that one, but still lovely. The reason why they give the red um, pockets um, is just basically to just wish, you know, good blessings, great health, prosperity. Um, they're always given uh, during, the red ones are given during um, festivals of happiness. Um, you would never give any other, especially not white, do not give white. White is used for more somber occasions, so like a funeral um, and things like that. So um, yeah, there's, there's many, many reasons behind them, but um, it's a protective color. Um, it's to fight off evil spirits. Um, and it represents prosperity. There's just many, many things, like I've said, good health and things like that. So it's just really nice. I love, I do like this. We've been given some really lovely gifts. So these are these, so these are done. So I'm just gonna pop them to one side and let me show you the ones that I've done to go in my craft room. So these are using the first edition um, papers and you can see there I've changed these a bit. So they're all done using staples but rather than staple the top, or no, this I did staple the top and then I covered it with these embellishments. And you can see there I've used the tassel again. And that's using the five. Like I said, the five is, is, is my favorite, I think. So that's that one. And then this is the four. So again, the same. And now they're just really nice. And I'm doing a third one today because I want three of them to hang in a little cluster from my ceiling. Um, and they just look really quite cute. So I thought I would share this very, very easy. Um, tutorial with you. So I'm just going to hang them back up there. So what you will need is, uh, what did I do here? One, so two, three pieces of six by six. Um, so this is just from a paper pack and it's double sided because that works really well with this project as well. Um, and then this is the, the fifth one I'm going to be showing with you here. And I've just got some embellishments to decorate. These beautiful tassels, which I will share all the links to um, that I've purchased. I've got some silver ribbon, and then I've just got this little disc, which I've die cut, and I've just put a little hole punch through, and that's just to sit on the top, just kind of covers up bits and pieces. Um, and then you will also need a stapler. So very, very straightforward. There's no glue unless you want to glue it together, but I will show you now um, why it's a bit difficult to use the glue. So I've already done those four. So all you need to do is grab, a piece here so these measure so it was two it was one piece of six by six and then I just cut it in half so you will have a piece of three by six 
okay now you want the you, if you don't have six by six papers um, you can use you could do three by eight um, you could do a four by um, it, the, the, it needs to be rectangles, it needs to be long tall pieces, it wouldn't work with a square. So just anything that's a rectangle will work really well with this. Okay, so you get your piece here, this is the 3 by 6 I'm going to just fold it, depending on what pattern, so that's obviously going to be my main pattern on show. And then this is going to be the bits that fold over, like so. So just bear that in mind with whatever paper, so if you want, whatever you want showing, you want to face up. And you're going to fold the card in half. But don't burnish all down there, just pinch the ends like so. And then fold in half this way. And again, pinch like so. So I can now see, I've been turning it over there, I can see just where I've marked the middle of both of those sides and then mark the middle of this side here, okay? Then what you want to do is just fold from where you've just pinched those little pieces, like so. If you want to mark a pencil mark along here, here, here and here to mark the middle, then do that if that's better for you and then just fold. So you're just folding from that pencil mark down to the other pencil mark. So again, on this side here, I'm just gonna fold like so. You can see what I'm doing there, just creating this triangle. Probably go up to the top a bit better on that one there. Get your bone tool as well, just so that you're really defining those score lines. And then again, just mark this one here. Okay, so that's that all folded, so you just want to make sure that all of your points all join up on each bit there, like so. Okay? So once you've done that with all of the five pieces or the four pieces or the six, depending on the styles that I showed you at the beginning that you want. So basically you want to grab two and you're just going to put together the backs of them so they almost sit back to back. Okay. And you just want to focus on this piece here, this triangle, bottom right hand triangle. Make sure your cards are all lined up. Okay. And then with your stapler, you're going to staple two or three, oh, I literally just filled it up, why is it not working? Okay, start again, how frustrating, right, so again, just staple two or three along that score line, okay, so I've just stapled just along that burnished score line there, so when you open it up, it will be joined, but you want this to be loose, so if you are wanting to use glue instead, you want to put a very thin line of glue along the score lines and join them together. This needs to be open, okay? So that's that one. Bear in mind this is always the front, this is going to be the outside. Get the next one, again, put it, line it up with the bottom of the next side. So this left side is stapled, we're now going to do the right hand side. Again, make sure it's all nicely lined up, it needs to be perfect. And again, I'm just popping my staples along like so, okay, and get the next one, again, all nicely lined up, back to back, and then the last one, My staple is a bit dodgy. I don't know why it's been fine all morning. Okay, so leave this one open. Don't do them all, okay? So leave that open. And then we're going to go around and do the same with the tops. Now what you want to do is make sure that you curve this bit and that one so they come in like so. So again, line up the top there. See what I've done? So just opened them up, brought them together, and just line them up. Because they're exact same sizes, they will match up perfectly. If they don't, make sure that they do. Okay, so you can see now when that opens up, it's starting to create that effect. Go around to the next one. Again, always make sure that you kind of curve that bit there. Line them up. Okay, 
Okay. Like so. Get the next one. Okay. It starts to get a little bit more trickier now. So she would be staple. Staple that even, but it will get there. And get that next one. Okay, so what you should be left with now is an opening like this. You can see there how that's all come together really well. So now what we need to do is add in our ribbon. So I'm going to grab, um, just got a piece of scrap card here and just want to cut a little bit off. You see, you don't need to worry, just, just something similar to what I've got here. And then basically what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to thread this through my lovely tassel. So I'm going to do the bottom first, like, oh, like so, cut that off, okay, so I've just got it hanging like that, then I'm going to staple it onto this bit of card, just pop a couple of staples on there, okay, and then choose what you want to be the top or the bottom, you're going to sit that in, and then we're going to close it, and that card just stops it falling out, okay. So now we can seal the bottom. So again, I'm just going to pop and staple on. Like so, okay. All the time, all of these will open up, which is what you want. And then I've got my top one, which I just need to make as my little loop with the last piece there. I haven't given you a measurement for the ribbon because it's entirely up to you how long you want it to hang. You might have somewhere specific for it, so. Again, just staple that on and then just slide it in that one there like so and it will just stop it coming out and then again that last one it's a bit tricky you need to try and get the staple in as close to that edge as possible like so okay now if you want you can leave it like that it does look quite nice um, so if you did want to leave it like this then you could glue all of it together and not have any of the staples. But that is the whole point of this project, is to show you a different way of, of putting something together. Um, but there is, you could easily do that without the staples and just glue it all. And then you could have a nice sentiment in there. You could have some ribbon through the last bit so it doesn't join. You could open it up and you could have a nice little gift bag. It could be a different way. Just seal the bottom one like I did completely, but maybe this one don't seal and it's enough room to open it up. I haven't done that, I'm just throwing out some other ideas. But that is basically what we've got there. But now I want to do that other style. So what you do is you split open two like so and then you curve them over. Okay, so that was that piece. Split it open and then put one on top of the other. Now if you want to just glue this, um, if you don't have embellishments to cover staples or you just would rather glue it, then that's fine. Put a bit of tacky glue under here and stick it over and just pinch it between your finger and your thumb and hold it in place. I am going to carry on using my staples because that's the whole reason I like this project and the embellishments I'm going to use cover that perfectly anyway. So you just want to go around and literally, this is why you want to make sure that you get them all in the as close to the top as possible. Um, but I've got that little disc as well to cover up the top. so. There's ways to uh, hide. I've got this, that staple, um, brown card poking through. There we go. And then again, the next one. And then the last ones will go together. And again, that card push it through so it just hangs within it. It shouldn't be coming out like that. It's the first time it's done that. There we go. Okay, so that's the top. Turn it over, do the same with the bottom. Okay, and that's the bottom done. So now you can see that really nice style. So all I'm gonna do is with this piece here, which I have um, put a little hole punch through. I'm just wondering if that was a big enough hole um, that I punched through it. Should be okay. And just feed that through. Oh yeah, that's fine. And it just covers up the joins there when they meet. 
and it just gives it a nice finish as well. And then I'm just going to grab my largest of these and just cover them, literally sit them directly over the staple. And these are just inexpensive, I think I picked them up from the range or the works, somewhere like that. And I just think this is a really nice way, if you've got a little girl's party and you want to make some, you've got lots and lots of papers lying around, six by six papers, you could do clusters of these um, for you know any party, I think that would look lovely. Um, and how gorgeous is that? It's just really cute. So I'm going to do it with them on the bottom as well, because obviously you see that um, when it's hanging, especially if it's going to be high up like mine will be. And just get them all covered. And there you have it. A gorgeous little lantern. Perfect for any occasion, not just Chinese New Year. So now I've got those three. They are going to hang together. And might have to change the lengths actually, I didn't think about that, but I want them to kind of cascade down, but you can kind of get the idea. Um, but there you have it. So that's my three um, Chinese inspired lanterns. So I hope you enjoyed the first of my um, Chinese New Year inspired tutorials. Um, I've got some really interesting ones um, coming up, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to catch those, and hit the like button if you enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for watching guys, bye!